వెల్కమ్ టు పవిత్ర ల్యాప్టాప్ కేర్ టైప్ సి వన్ టు నో మోర్ ఓకే హియర్ ఇట్ ఈస్ సి టైప్ సి హ్యాస్ టోటల్ ట్వంటీ ఫోర్ పిన్స్ అవుట్ ఆఫ్ దాట్ వన్ సైడ్ ఏ వన్ టు ఏ ట్వెల్వ్ కన్సిడర్ ఇట్స్ అ ఏ సైడ్ ఇయర్ ఇట్స్ అ గ్రౌండ్ అండ్ ఇయర్ ఆల్సో గ్రౌండ్ సి ఇయర్ ఆల్సో గ్రౌండ్ అండ్ ఇయర్ ఆల్సో గ్రౌండ్ సి ద పిన్ నంబర్ ఏ వన్ అండ్ ఏ ట్వెల్వ్ విల్ బి ద గ్రౌండ్ బాటమ్ ఆఫ్ ద సైడ్ ఇయర్ ఇట్స్ అ బీ ట్వెల్వ్ అండ్ బీ వన్ వీ విల్ కన్సిడర్ ఓన్లీ వన్ సైడ్ వాట్ అబౌట్ సెకండ్ వన్ ఏ టూ అండ్ ఏ త్రీ సి ఇన్ ప్రాక్టికలీ యూ కెన్ సి ఇట్ విల్ బీ ఆల్మోస్ట్ సేమ్ సి ఏ త్రీ అండ్ ఇయర్ వాట్ దట్ ఏ లెవెన్ ఏ ఫోర్ అండ్ ఏ టెన్ బోత్ ఆర్ లిటిల్ బిట్ సిమినల్ ఇట్ మీన్ సిమిలర్ ఇట్ మీన్స్ వన్ సైడ్ ఈస్ ద ట్రాన్స్మిటర్ పాజిటివ్ నెగిటివ్ అండ్ అదర్ వన్ ఈస్ రిజర్వర్ నెగిటివ్ పాజిటివ్ ఓకే సి టీఎక్స్ పాజిటివ్ అండ్ టీఎక్స్ నెగిటివ్ ఇయర్ ఇస్ ద టీఎక్స్ పాజిటివ్ అండ్ టీఎక్స్ నెగిటివ్ ఏ టూ అండ్ ఏ త్రీ అండ్ ఇయర్ ఇట్ ఈస్ ఇట్స్ ఏ లెవెన్ ఇస్ ద పాజిటివ్ రిజర్వర్ సైడ్ పాజిటివ్ అండ్ ఇయర్ ఆర్ ఎక్స్ రిజర్వర్ సైడ్ నెగిటివ్ ఇట్స్ ఆర్ టూ ఓకే నౌ వాట్ అబౌట్ దిస్ పిన్ దిస్ పిన్ అండ్ దిస్ పిన్ బోత్ అల్ ఆర్ సిమిలర్ రై రైట్ సి ఇయర్ ఇట్స్ యాక్చువల్లీ V bus here is the output we will get hmm? V bus here is the A4 and A9 A4 and A9 are both are same next A5 A5 here is the CC connection okay through here only you can recognize what kind of wattage it required this one is A5 A9 over SBU1 i will tell you that sbo1 what it is i already told many, multiple times and next this one is data 1 and data 2 through here only your data will recognize means usb will work through the pch here is the data plus and data minus got my point so it's very easy here is the cc and sbo1 uh now what we have to check this one is the type c okay using this adapter mobile adapter sorry laptop adapter can we charge the mobile can we charge that is a question here actually this also type c and mobile also type c in that case can we charge it or not the answer is 100% we can charge it see if you take uh, mobile charger or laptop charger whatever you take the main here v bus and uh, this one uh, here is the main v bus will give you only 5 volts at present when you connect the laptop there also it will give 5 volts at present i mean uh, startingly when you press the power button so internally it will recognize how it will recognize those things i'll tell you later it will recognize the power requirement of this motherboard is 20 then it will produce 20 volts for mobile it will check and it will produce only 5 volts by default how here 20 volts will produce that is the answer is if you check here here yeah, ic you can see see this is the ic this is called power delivery ic okay this one is power delivery ic here is the digital cpu for power delivery okay i'll make it big this is the power delivery ic digital cpu which is connected to the this it will communicate with each other hmm? and one more thing is there here the most important thing is bias see the type c has bias chip hmm? ut6 is the bias chip it will communicate with the pd power delivery ic and finally it will communicate to each other and data will transfer and one more thing you have to check it it's actually yt1 this one is crystal 
okay this one is crystal what are the requirement is for uh, 20 volts c the type c type c will communicate with this ic see where it has gone it came to this particular ic this one is digital cpu ic and after that it will communicate with the pdic and both will communicate and gives the appropriate result okay for that bias is required and here is the crystal crystal also required for this i2c communication for i2c communication okay now you got my point right so one thing is it required bias and cpu digital ic how it will work see the main pd has divided into minimum five part see one is external fet control sense power management and supervisors digital core cable and devices detect cable power and pdpi here port data max plexer hmm? multiplexer sorry see how it works the first section is it will sense the uh, CLR register which I told in uh, previous video first it will sense the required voltage how much required current how much for this particular motherboard or particular connection where you connected first it will sense through this MOSFET the function of this high voltage gate MOSFET then this one will close or open function will happen this is one section first it will sense okay in case it required high voltage then here you will get 5 volts i mean it will be connected 3 amps 5 volts okay some logic is there i already explained in previous videos you can check it the main function of this is see it will first recognize what voltage it required next part will take care of voltage section see ldo 3.3 volts 1.8 volts 1.8 volts so some voltage will occur here 1.2 volts or some other voltage will come here see this power management and supervisors will handle the voltage related things okay next the digital is communication purpose i2c sda scl through the bias bias which i told you know through that bias it will communicate and here before that see the power and all should be there no after this this power once enables it will communicate with the this cable and device detecting detection part what it does it will check the connectivity at cc1 or cc2 is connected with the high end cable or not means that uh, data capacity should be there in that particular cable that cable is selected or not first it will check once cable is detected it's satisfied then only the required other communication will start otherwise it will limit to 5 volts okay once you get the 5 volts and uh, cable should be okay and then required power yeah everything will come see it's 1.8 volts 3.3 volts everything will come then only it will start the digital core through the bias okay and here multiplexer is there that one will control other see other side uh, that cc is there no one side cc one is connected other side it should not be connected that one this multiplexer will take care of uh, about those things okay so next the thing is power how and uh, how it looks in this particular ball bearing uh, what is that pd okay shall we check see the pd is ball bearing ic hmm? in this here this color is high power low power ground gpio application not connected now these all are not connected first thing is high power see v bus v bus should be minimum 5 volts and more than that see here this is power supply actually power supply 5 volts this section V bus is the output it may be 20 or it may be 5 volts it's a depending on first and second MOSFET and CLR okay depending on that CLR first and second MOSFET this voltage will vary 
but this one won't vary because this is a fixed power supply so now you got my point here is the power supply for this particular ic and here is the output v bus output that's it here hmm? second one is low power ldo voltages what are the ldo voltage you will get 1.8 volts see 1.8 volts one side and some side uh, is the 3.3 volts 3.3 volts ldo 3.3 and here some maybe 1.1 or something and the next here also vd input output vd here also you uh, you will get the voltage around 1.1 something here it's a 1.8 volts that's it and next one is ground see internally it has ground and the gpio input output connections this all are okay the type c to pch and the cpu the input output devices application what it does it will communicate with the cable and it will communicate with the mobile or laptop motherboard those work it will start pch or whatever maybe here it is not connected okay it's very simple right see the supply and here is the output this much only you have to check and plus these voltages ldo voltages see in any pd any kind of pd it may be ball bearing or it's a pin first you need to check with the appropriate voltages it's uh, giving or not sometimes what will happen in case of pd faulty you will get only 5 volts at the vb v bus why because here some 3.3 voltage should occurs but it was not getting then only you will get the problem with the v bus okay in that case you need to check thoroughly there will be the mosfet issue or clr issue or pd issue first you need to replace the pd and check if it is okay then it's okay otherwise you need to check one by one okay anything else that's it it's very simple right so here is the pd hmm? and here is the digital one one second i'll show you it's big what are the connections required pd digital cpu bias ic and here is the what is that this one this one is crystal <coughs> and communication here that's it hmm see here the communication transmitter and receivers will go to directly cpu okay now it's little bit easy right before in starting stages type c what we have to do those things very confusion will be there i was there actually hmm? nowadays it's getting very simplified the main thing is you can connect any adapter to the uh, motherboard or as well as mobile also in mobile it will take only 5 volts and in laptop according to the requirement it will take uh, it will it gives 20 volts the initially it uh, takes 20 volts i mean it gives 20 volts immediately it will convert to 5 volts once you press the power button then only the 20 volts you will get at v bus that's it 